Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show how you can hyperlink from one part of your page to another part of your page. Okay, so this happens from time to time, and for really long pages, it's even more likely. But I want to link from one part of my web page down to another part of my web page and back and forth. There's actually a solid reason why you might want to make longer single page websites instead of multi page websites. They can benefit uh, on mobile development. It's nicer to have one long page that you can just kind of quickly scroll through versus multiple little pages with hyperlinks. However, it can also negatively affect search engine optimization. But let's say we want to go for it. I've already got a little page set up, but of course it's blank. So I'm going to do a few little pieces of markup on here so that we have something to experiment with. Okay, so I've just typed up some HTML. I've got a basic navigation menu with four hyperlinks. These are dummy links for now, but I'll fix them up soon enough. And then I have a series of sections on my web page. Each of my sections is uniquely identified with an ID attribute, and then they just have a generic headline 2 for a name and some filler text. So let me save this. And how does this look on my browser? There we go. So I've got some hyperlinks and I've got some sections. I'm going to go ahead and take a second to do a little bit of styling to spread these out a little bit further and make them look a little bit better. Okay, I've just put in a little bit of styling so that you can clearly see my navigation menu. I've made my hyperlinks big and noticeable with bright yellow text. And I've added some spacing to my sections. I've put some 50 pixels of top margin, but then I put a really big 1,000 pixel bottom margin. So basically, what this will do for me is it's going to ensure that you can only see one section at a time. So just pretend for a second that I had lots of content in each section. I'd have to scroll down to see section two, and I'd have to scroll all the way through. But I don't want to keep scrolling. I'd like to rely on these hyperlinks to jump to those particular sections. So these fragments on my page I'd like to hyperlink to. And that's going to be easy, because each of my sections here is uniquely identified. I've got section 1, 2, 3, and 4. So when I want to hyperlink within a page from an anchor over to a target anchor, I'm simply going to put in the ID name, section 1. And I can go ahead and do this for my other anchors, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So I'm using the ID to identify the section. And then I'm using the hyper reference with a fragment hyperlink hashtag or the um, pound sign over to that particular ID. I want section 1 to hyperlink to section 1. I want section 4 to hyperlink to section 4. Let me save this browser refresh. So I can see section 1. Let me click on section 3. And you'll notice I'm taking up to section 3. Now I could have a hyperlink at each section which takes me back to top. And you've probably seen that before where I can click a button and then I can jump back up to the top and then I can click on section 2, jump back to the top, and so forth. However, a lot of pages now that are doing this type of long page format, they'll generally keep the navigation bar visible at all times. So that's a pretty easy modification. I can just head up to my CSS real quick, and I'll put in position fixed. And I'll just locate this at the um, top zero picks and the uh, top and left zero picks, and let me go ahead and put a width on here of 100%. I already have the height set, so when I save this in browser refresh, say OK, I can jump to section 2, and it worked, section 3 and section 4. So now that my nav bar is fixed, I need to make sure there's spacing so that each of my sections can clear this 90 pixel tall navigation bar. So I'll just head over to my section. It already has a margin top, and I guess I can leave that there for now. But I'm going to go ahead and add a padding top of 100 pixels. That way I know it's going to be bigger than my 90 pixel tall nav bar. So it'll clear that space. Let me go ahead and save this, head over to my browser, and let me make sure I'm at the root page. And so we can see I've got that spacing there. I might 
take that out a little bit here. But now when I click on section two versus section three and four, we can see that I'm always able to see the top part of that section just by jumping over. And this is just one large web page that's scrolling up and down. I can always still scroll down or up to see the rest of that content. So there you go. That's one way that you can create one long page with lots of sections of content and then you can hyperlink to those various sections. For that initial problem that I have with my section one, I could always get rid of, since I don't need it now, this uh, top margin. That's not really helping me too much. I can knock it down to something like 10. There we go. So now it's a little bit less noticeable. And of course, if I made it zero, it would be even less noticeable. Have fun.